Good morning, you guys. It is time for your health check, and we begin with COVID and its impact on male fertility. Specifically, a small study out of the University of Miami observed 45 men who received either the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine doses. Their research shows no decline in sperm count after receiving these vaccines. All men studied were young and healthy, and so far doctors say it appears the vaccines are safe with specific regard to male reproduction. And we follow them after uh, for three months, which is the usual time for uh, in which we see any sort of sperm count decline, which we saw it with the actual virus, which is why we chose the three month time point. And we looked at sperm analyses um, after the uh, two doses were received, and we found that uh, there was no decline in any of the uh, uh, men. Now, when it comes to COVID infections, the virus apparently stays in certain tissues of the male reproductive system for a long time after initial infection. Research indicates COVID infection causes sperm count to drop for three to six months and then sort of bounce back. So it does appear there's at least a temporary decline in even instances of erectile dysfunction after COVID infection. Whether these cases are temporary or more permanent remains to be seen. Studies are ongoing. A historic first for Texas Health Harris Methodist Hospital in Fort Worth. The hospital just welcomed its first surgery residents in its 91 year history. This all starts with a class of seven general surgery residents. One of the big things that um, attracted me to the program was the location and being in Fort Worth. I did um, my medical school in Fort Worth and um, really fell in love with the community and the city. And What an amazing group of, of young doctors, too, that not only chose Fort Worth as a residency program, but want to stay here. I heard that over and over again for this class. So I'm just so encouraged about the future for our community. Um, we know that an integral part of a healthy city is having fantastic doctors. Officials tell us this surgery residence program is the first step in Texas Health Resources plan to improve quality and access to convenient health care and address the shortage of doctors and surgeons across DFW. And that is your health check. Let's send things